Hello, and welcome to Deploy Intune 101, a free video training course on how to quickly configure and deploy Intune as a standalone enterprise mobility management solution. My name is Roy, and this video is brought to you by UEM Authority. Let's get started. To manually enroll an iPhone or iPad with Endpoint Manager, we can start with an existing device or a new device. In either scenario, the device must be in a post out of the box experience state, i.e. at the home screen. For this demonstration, we will be using an iPhone which has recently been factory reset and is now past the out-of-box experience. The iPhone has also been signed in with an Apple ID in order to download the Company Portal app. Going into the settings of the iPhone and then into General and About, we can see the iPhone we are using to demonstrate is an iPhone SE first generation and is running software version iOS 15. Scrolling up in the settings, we can see the device is connected to a Wi-Fi connection. This is vital in order to enrol the device with Endpoint Manager. As a prerequisite, we first must ensure the iPhone has a valid Apple ID account signed in, as this is required in order to download the Company Portal app. Heading into the Public App Store, we go ahead and search for the Intune Company Portal app. And then select Install. Once the application has downloaded, we select Open. We now need to sign into the company portal with our Azure AD account. Selecting the Sign In text field, we input our enrolment user Azure AD UPN. For the purpose of this training video, we are using Test User 01 at traininguemauthority.onmicrosoft.com. We then select Next. And now we authenticate the account by typing in the password for the enrollment user. Once that is complete, we select Sign In. Select OK to get notified by the Company Portal app. And now we follow the steps to enroll the device with Endpoint Manager. Selecting Begin, we can see what the device management platform can and cannot see. Selecting can. We have a bullet point list of things that the endpoint manager platform can see and then can't is showing the bullet pointed list of things endpoint manager cannot see. The next step is to download the management profile from endpoint manager. Selecting continue. Company portal app will redirect us to a website where the iPhone will download the management profile to be installed. Select Allow. And then press Close. At this point, we need to switch out of the Company Portal app and into the iPhone Settings app. Within the Settings app, we select Profile Downloaded and then select Install. We are prompted to then verify our install request. The device now begins to install the management profile. We are then asked to confirm by pressing Install and we want to trust that the installation of the profile is allowed. 
Once that has completed, we press done. As we can see, the management profile is now installed and the MDM platform is UEM Authority Sandbox. Going back into the company portal and then selecting continue, we can see the install of management profile is complete. The next step is for the device to check its compliance settings to ensure Endpoint Manager sees the device as compliant. This may take a few minutes, so do allow Endpoint Manager and the device to complete this process before continuing. Once the compliance status of the device is validated by Endpoint Manager, we will see a green tick next to Check Device Settings. After this, press Done. We can see the device is now enrolled with UEM Authority. Selecting our enrolment username tag from the top right hand corner of the screen, we can see information about our organisation and who the device is enrolled with. As you can see, we have already set the company branding and so we can see the UEM Authority logo configured in the background. The enrolment user is test user 01, our department is IT. And as we can validate the username or UPN of the enrolment user is test user 01 at training UEM authority on Microsoft.com. Selecting done and then selecting the devices tab. We can then see how many devices and which type of device is enrolled against this user. Closing the company portal app concludes manual enrollment of our iOS or iPad OS device with Endpoint Manager.